there are moments in my life when I have felt totally lost, totally lost. I know I'm not alone. I know that most people, the majority of the population, whether it is now or at some other point in their lives, they will come to a place where they feel lost. They feel stuck. They feel they don't know what to do next. They don't know how to get themselves out of the quicksand. Is this normal? Yes, it's normal. And the reason it's normal is because I don't know of anyone who plods through this earthly realm without having to stop and do introspection or analysis to determine not only their personal growth, but their overall growth. And I think sometimes getting stuck is necessary because in getting unstuck or the action of getting unstuck, it forces you to reevaluate not only who you are, but the methods you're using in your life. Most of us grow and most of us don't. <laughs> there are a lot of people that get stuck and stay stuck and then the rest of their life is one continuous motion of not getting unstuck. So it can be debilitating. It can be something that not only limits you, but it can be something that frustrates you, that makes you feel like you don't know how to get from one point to the other. And because you're unable to do that, it, is, it creates this whole frustration cycle that keeps you moored to the notion that you will not get out or you cannot get out or you just give up on trying. Failure is when you choose not to do anything. Failure has nothing to do with you know, trying something and, and, not, and not making it the first time or the, the few times. Failure is not the attempt. Failure is no attempt at all. So the first thing you should do when you're stuck, what I do when I get stuck is I realize that I cannot, I can't stand still for too long. You know, I'm a firm believer that if you're depressed or if, you ha if, you're, if you're feeling sorry for yourself, that you should be allowed to feel sorry for yourself. My, my process is I don't go past three days and I'm to the point where I don't even get past one day. But if you are gonna feel sorry for yourself, go ahead, throw your pity party. Feel sorry for what you're going through. Feel sorry for where you are right now. Feel sorry because nobody else is going to feel sorry for you like you can feel sorry for you. You're not alone. We are spirit first and spirit is something that is never alone. We always surrounded by energy and other people that can help us move forward. You don't have to do this blind. There's so many other people like myself and like you. This is not your first Egypt. This is not the first time that you've come to this place and you feel stuck. And there are other times and other moments in your life that you will feel this again. But what you do right now is more important than what you did in the past and what, you're, what you are gonna do in the future. It is now, all you have is this moment. This moment will define where you go. Getting stuck or feeling like you're lost has more to do with the feeling. If you continue to feel that way, you'll continue to stay where you are. So the first thing to do is to get yourself out of that rut. You know, I put on music, I leave the house, I find something to distract me, something positive, nothing negative. You know, I don't do drugs, I don't drink, you know, I'm not saying that I'm condemn anybody who does. What I'm saying is find something that doesn't pull you further into that place where you feel lost. Find something that will remove you from that feeling of lost and that will bring you alive, that will remind you of the things that you need to be grateful for. There's always something to be grateful for. There's always something we're fighting for. It sounds cliche, right? But it's the truth. A lot of times what's worth fighting for is the fact that you have what it takes to get past this feeling of being lost. I know a lot of times when you're lost, it's not even your own sense of self that has brought you here. It's something that somebody did or something that somebody else said or something that you're going through right now that you feel like, man, I don't have any choices. I, haven't, I don't have any options. There's always a choice. The choice is always to believe that even though you're faced with the reality that you have right now, that what will keep you alive is your intention. Your intention is greater than the feeling of being lost. 
you have to purposefully choose to want to move past this moment. You have to find the strength within and the strength without to get up and to go. Man, there are days in my past and days that I was like, I don't know. Some mornings you don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to hear the birds chirping. <laughs> You don't want to see the beautiful blue sky. You don't even see the blue sky. All you see is what's ahead of you. And sometimes it feels like Groundhog Day all over again. I know how you feel. You're not alone. You're not the first person to come to this path. You're not the first person to come on this journey to this juncture. And that is news in itself. That means that if others have gotten unstuck, if others have felt lost and they've made it past this point, that you too can get past this point. I know a lot of times you feel like you have no one to talk to or that nobody's hearing what you have to say or that nobody cares what you have to say. All those are lies. You can talk to a random stranger or total stranger. I used to talk to the homeless population a lot. I learned a lot from them. One guy once gave me a, 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 a smidgen of, of wisdom, he said, if you don't use it, you don't need it. <laughs> I'm still working on it. But you can talk to other people. You can find a random stranger or somebody who wants to listen. You know, if you don't have faith, develop some. If you don't believe in something higher, maybe it's time to try. You know, it can't hurt, right? Where you at right now is not where you have to remain. Where you're at right now the only person who can truly move you from this place is you and your desire to want to move forward. Find one reason, some reason to move and it will make it easier. And every day, every day, add something different to your routine. Every week, do something differently that you haven't done before. And before you know it, that whole notion of being lost is lost to you. Instead, you will find yourself again and you will find the strength to carry on and you will find the strength to find purpose in your living. My name is Ingrid Felton. As always, thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you for liking the videos, subscribing to the videos, telling others about what I'm doing here. I continue to do these videos because I want to be an inspiration and I want to give you something that can help you move past the things that life throws you. Life is not easy. Life is a challenge. How you choose to meet those challenges, how you choose to, how you choose to engage with others, how you choose to engage with yourself is more important than the challenges that you will encounter. Get up, move forward. You're not lost. You're about to be found. Have a 